The Optimum Histogram Utility for Oracle Databases Maximize Oracle SQL Execution Efficiency The Optimum Oracle Histograms The Optimum Histogram Utility scans an Oracle table and gathers column distribution statistics at a granular level. This data is used to determine the maximum number of buckets, the minimum bucket width, and the maximum number of popular values that can be calculated for a column. The OHU algorithm's results are stored in a histogram for utilization by the Oracle Optimizer. Before utilizing the OHU, a special utility should be used to save all the Oracle calculated histograms and density factors into a holding area for instant restore. A OHU utility is also provided to instantly reload Oracle calculated histograms for one or all columns as a specified table from the holding area. There are two types of histograms generated. The OHU type A, which generates histograms that produce optimal histograms to be used in all predicate operations. And there's the type B, generates logarithmic histograms to produce optimal histograms for equal predicate operators in like. Cool. The optimizer's methods on equal operators were studied and algorithms produced that populate a type B e histogram to optimally meet the requirements of equal operators. From a business perspective, it was determined that many columns, such as country, state, province, salutation, are always used with the quality operators, thus histograms should be specifically created to meet these requirements. The Oracle optimizer's estimation accuracy for quality is increased, it may be increased, by factors of 100 when utilizing the type E. Uh, this will all be uh, demonstrated in the demonstration to come. The optimum histogram utility type A has no maximum bucket limit. The, two, the 254 limit currently that exists with Oracle has been shot. Uh, it can go into the thousands. As a result, it contains the maximum number of popular values, contains the smallest bucket what's feasible, given data skew and data volume, and maximum accuracy, density, and popular value estimates. There's a number of other attributes here that uh, you can stop the video and uh, read. And there's the type E, again, no maximum buck. This again going to the thousands, well beyond the 254. All endpoint values are logarithmic popular values and they contain the smallest possible density for the table called given the data skew and the data volume. Special logarithmic popular value bucket counts to supply maximum accuracy to the Oracle optimizer. Now there's a number of attributes here, but I want to get to the demonstration. Test overview. Selection of candidate columns from an Oracle test table and testing the Oracle and OHU type A and E histograms and density numbers against SQL statements using predicate values that are non-popular and popular. The estimated rows and costs are recorded to compare the differences between the Oracle and OHU results and their impact on the optimizer selection plans. Complex SQL against multiple tables at this time could confuse the understanding of the OHU testing results. The results of these tests can be extrapolated to determine the benefits to complex SQL. Once the mechanics and impact the OHU histograms, the Oracle optimizes, estimation accuracy is understood, complex SQL scenarios will be presented, and they've already been tested by outside vendors. Now we're going to the presentation. Essentially, the presentation is against this table, order line items, which has been populated with 7,891,338 rows. You can see the number of X. And this is the script that was run. In order to save time, the script was run. In the script are the loading of the OHUEA, the OHUE, and the DBMS stats execution that gathered the Oracle statistics. It was run against 11.2.01 .01 database. You can see all the columns. Each column has been indexed and the variety of numerics, dates, etc. Now the OHU works with dates fields, works with character fields, and it works with work numeric fields against partition tables, heap tables, IOTs, and materialized views. First step was to gather the DBMS stats against the column called municipality. We set the size before maximum and estimate percent of 100. As you can see, it took 6 minutes and 42 seconds to execute. We then run this utility, which saves the statistics that were calculated step automatically to the OHU holding area for instant restore. 
Now we generate the OHU type A and type B, which is this step here. It's a package that comes uh, with the architecture. Uh, there's a number of packages and procedures that come with the architecture, including views. You can see that it, the elapsed time to calculate the OHU uh, A and E plus density factors has been re is reduced to uh, 32 seconds as compared to six minutes for DMMN stats. Now there's a view that's available that has been run at this step. And in this case, you can see that we've run the OHU, A, E, and O, and the Oracle statistics against a number of columns in this table, including car, numerics, and there's the municipality field that we just ran. You can see that for the type A, for delivery code, which is VARCAR field, the number of buckets calculated are 240,000, well above the 254. As a result, you can see on this column the number of popular values that were calculated. For example, in this situation, the delivery code, the density factor has been greatly reduced compared to the one calculated by Oracle. Oracle calculated one bucket. As a result, you can see that the density factor has been, its accuracy has been increased by a uh, thousand percent in this situation. We can see there's a distinct count in this section. And this is the column that was just run. And these are the results. You can see again the density factor differences, popular value compared to Oracle. And this is a logarithmic uh, histogram uh, endpoint result for the type E's. And that's a special endpoint. Okay, for each and every test, the first test will be the non-popular alpha value quality test, but for each and every test, we flush the share pool and the buffer cache, as can be indicated here. Now this is a non-popular value test, so we ran it against uh, Crossfield, which is a non-popular value. Now we're catching the elapsed time, and we set auto trace on. In this case, the Oracle calculated statistics are in memory, the histograms, after the DBM, DBMS test was executed originally. We can see the cardinality is 9,703, but the actual count is 398. So it's a couple of thousand off. So the accuracy in this case is, uh, in, th in this situation, is that it's um, quite higher, the cardinality, than the actual count. Now we're going to load the type A, which is this utility here, which, and it's loaded instantaneously into memory. We flush the pools, run the same test, and we can see now the Oracle optimizes cardinality has increased to 493. It's only about 98 off. We load the E, which is this utility, so these are all instantaneous. You can also notice that there's a status code return and a message. If it's there'll be a clear error message indicated. Again, we flush the pool. We perform the same test, and we can see that the cardinality, the actual count, is quite close. Only about 100 off. Now, this is the instant restart utility. It restores the histograms back, the oracles histograms, instantly into memory. Now we're going to test the alpha value index usage thresholds, how many values in the in clause before uh, table scans performed. And that's to do with the degree of accuracy of density. We're going to flush the pools. And we run with two non-popular values as indicated. The result is a table access full. And you can see that the consistent gets and the consistent reads have gone to 146,000 and 145,000, last time 30 seconds. Now we're going to load, load the E. We flush the pool, same two values, and you can see the cardinalities, 987, very close to 703, and a table access by index range scan is performed. As a result, you can see physical reads, and consistent gants have gone down to 478 and 211. You can see that it 
The O2 histograms are really having an impact on the plant selected. Now we're going to try it with 23 non-popular values in this case. Flush the pool, and here are the non-popular values. And we can see with all these non-popular values, Cardinality is 10,853, so it's 3,000 off, but it's still using the index, and you can see the elapsed time is 8 seconds, and consistent cats and, and physical reads are way down to 1,600 and 1,300. Now we're going to load the E, perform the same test, and we can see the cardinality is even more accurate, 6480 range scan is performed as indicated here. Consistent get 1600, 1300 physical reads. We restore the Oracle histogram statistics with that procedure. And now we're going to perform Oracle popular alpha value quality tests. How good are the OHA, A, and E with uh, popular values? Again, we flush the pool. We picked a popular value, Marystown. Actual counts indicated. Oracle comes up with with an estimate of 9703 using Oracle histograms. We load the OHUA, flush the pool, same test. We can see the accuracy is only 200 off. You can see the impact on the Oracle optimizer. The, the more accurate the information, the better the efficiency the plan selected. We load the E, as indicated here, flush the pools, same test, and we can see that the cardinality is bang on. That's one thing with the type E. The cardinality for popular values from the Oracle Optimizer is 99.9% .9 of the time the same as the count. So Oracle has the optimum information it needs to make a decision on the execution plan selected. Now we're going to restore the Oracle histograms. We're going to test the multiple popular values. So this is with Oracle. With about 20 values. We can see the cardinality is 295,000 and an index range scan has been performed. Actual counts 142, so it's 150,000 $150, off. We load the E, perform the same test, and we can see that we're only approximately 20,000 20, off. So you can see the impact on the cardinality of using these histograms. We load the E, flush the pool, perform the same test, and we can see that we're almost bang on. 5,000 off. So you can see the impact. Now we're going to restore the Oracle histograms again, and now what we're going to do is perform an alpha light clause estimation accuracy to indicate that it works just as well with other operators. We're going to flush the pool. We perform this test, and we can see that Pfizer Using Oracle histograms, cardinality is 19,395, so it's way off. In this case, as a result, the table acts as full as performed. Physical uh, consistent gets and physical reads are 146 and 145. We load the A. We're going to perform the same test, and we can see the cardinality is extremely accurate. It's approximately 200 off. As a result, index range scans are performed. Execution time has gone from 30 seconds to 7 seconds. Consistent gets and physical reads way, way down. We load the E, flush the pool, perform the same test, and you can see we're only about 30. So you can see the increase in the estimation accuracy is tremendous. Now we're going to restore the Oracle histograms. That is the summary of the test. Now, uh, please contact me with any, um, any questions you may have, and I'll get back to you ASA. Uh, you can see there will be another conducted, okay, against... Uh, multiple table joints. Thank you, and I hope to hear from you. Thanks.